sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. More like Stone Shies. <laughs> The gang boss has been all up in Nine Fingers' territory. He's brutal. Steer clear. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. Come now, sister, I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot, the smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. In the ground? Over there, <laughs> some people covered her in dirt, <laughs> but I will find her again. Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I find them soon. I like this game, but it is less fun to play it alone. It's not what it looks like. I promise. You don't want none of this. Trust me.
It seems your report was good, Wargaz. Here you are, as brazen as described. The gloomed soul who thieved from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the illithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? And you would trust an Illithid to do such a thing? I thought you said this one was smart, Wargaz. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. We will reclaim the Astral Prism, purge it of the Illithid Interloper, and restore it to our Queen. Death will be yours, and yours alone, Gake! Where Wargas failed to kill you, I will make the same mistake.
strike you down.
first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? Oh, yes, your trademark wit. Now, what do you want exactly? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Thou require a new ally, or mayhaps a resurrection instead. The bustle here takes some getting used to. <laughs> Crackling fire and a tressum for company is usually more my speed. Still, we must flow with the current we find ourselves in, however tumultuous it may be. If you've need of me, I'm glad to help. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a Mind Flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder why offer it to me. If this is what the fates have offered to aid our cause, then how can I help? With pleasure. Lead on.
Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps, once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. Baldur's Gate, it's so strange. I don't remember much of it. I suppose it is. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect. The powers we already received have proved useful, true. You know what that offer truly entails, don't you? Become half a Mind Flayer, lose half of yourself. I don't want that. Baldur's Gate. You know, I never quite believed I'd actually make it back. It wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. I suppose it is. Though the chance to savor the moment might be brief. 
given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect to. The powers we already re You know what that offer truly entails, don't you? Become half a Mind Slayer. Lose half of yourself. I don't... What do you want, exactly? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. Well... Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has no
Raise your eyes. Look upon she who conquers. twice over. You carry geek parasites and you harbor the heretic Prince Orpheus. Glorious Vlakith, I am unclean. I exhort you, grant me guidance. Hear my words, Vinisk. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains! The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. Kneel before me, make your promise. Your parasites resonate. You feel Lazelle's ecstasy as she moves to kneel before her queen. Understanding. You find truth. Lazel believes a Zathis device cleanses the parasite, but it's used for extracting memories and killing the infected. Vlakith does not welcome her finest young warriors into her royal city to reward them, but to consume their essence in her quest for godhood. The Lich Queen doesn't intend to reward Lazel, but to devour her. Vlakith speaks only in lies.
the Lich Queen doesn't intend to reward Lazel, but to devour... Kith speaks only in lies. No. It can't be. I believed you. I believed everything! Shikarteth! You speak against the Eternal Queen! Mother Geth's son lives, caged by a prison of your design. Our people deserve the truth, but you have denied it to us. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. Glad to see him. Lazel did well to break free of Lackith with pl Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and... Since we arrived in the city, I can't help but feel a little... anxious. But I'm not sure I know why. I don't think it's what happens if we fail that concerns me. We'll be beyond our worries at that point. I think what bothers me 
is what happens if we succeed. I've never been able to write my own future. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, I want to save my parents, of course. Take them away. Far from Shah's influence. Someplace peaceful. Away from the city, perhaps. I like room for animals. Lots of them. All shapes and sizes. So long as they appreciate a warm fire and more affection than they know what to do with. I want to grow flowers. I want to be surrounded by colors every day. I'm tired of darkness. Yes. I want to share it all with you, if you're willing. Then it sounds like I have everything I need. You turned my eyes to the truth. Vlakit's forsaken me, and there's no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. Better to unite the... So why do I feel so bitter? every corner of Lazelle's mind. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazelle's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Zala Orpheus must still now forge an Yeri. Orpheus' will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. We find a way to... Mark my... You might as well up. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Perhaps you... When the tadpole has... It won't hear. My own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power.
My own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power.
you. The Githyan.